Okay, this is Vader. I'm doing a, sh a little short video on my top case for uh, Renegade Biker uh, 24 because he's looking at buying a top case and um, from Jibby and he wants to put some light in it. And I told him the Add More Lights kit for Jibby uh, are pretty good, but I just didn't like them. They weren't bright enough for me. Uh, so I told him what I did is I bought these are Hyper Lights. Okay, and uh, I put two sets in them, two per side, and I want to explain to them how I did it real quick and why I did it. Uh, reason is brightness. These are freaking intensely stupid bright. I mean, they're, they're great. I love them. The, uh, uh, but to put them in, it's not easy. It's not, it's not a plug and play thing, unfortunately. What I did, Mike, is... I had to cut a hole, cut two holes, okay, let me uh, bring my camera down here a little bit, I had to cut two holes here, okay, and I did exactly the same thing on that side, and then all I did was, once I got them in there, I used uh, silicone sealant to hold them in place, they ain't going anywhere, and, because uh, you got to remember, there's no load on them, it's not like you're pulling on them, or any kind of, no drag, or any kind of stuff, there's no resistance to them, so they, they stay, but, when you're looking at them, you know, when they're mounted, uh, I did have to cut the holes. I, I made a template. So I knew the spacing, and I'll see if I can find the template. But uh, anyways, and then the wiring. This is how I route the wiring. They come together, okay, and then they go behind the map document holder, and they come into here, okay? And they're just, you know, heat trunk together, splice the wires together, and then you continue on, and they finally end up out here. There's a, there's a hole that the that Jivy uh, gives you, and this hole um, is where I poke the wires through. And I used one of these connectors. I spliced it into, this here is actually trailer wiring, and I'll explain what I mean by that in a minute. And then I used one of these connectors, kind of a fast disconnect. And then, this is actually what it looks like. This is the two ends, they just, they, they're sealed. Uh, they're using automotive. Uh, two conductor, red black, uh, and I used these to. Uh, originally, I used the trailer wiring, the trailer a trailer hitch wiring, and it was four conductor. I just only used two of them. And that's what I originally used, and I didn't care for it. So I ended up going this route. Now I go to my bike. You know, I tied my wiring all in, and all that good stuff. This is the this is the other end. Okay, it's sealed. You know, I, I popped it through here because it's just on my bike. I was uh, able to do that. It comes underneath there and it ties into my light, my lighting, my brake lights. But like I was telling you, Mike, when that top case hangs over, it does shadow this light, the brake light a little bit. Just something you might want to think about. It may not on yours. I don't know. But there's a lot of cap, a lot of box there. So I use these connectors and I have an extra ones. They're just an automotive connector. I think you can get them in AutoZone. Uh, and they snap together. They're sealed. This is a, like a huge rubber gasket. Very, very common. Uh, I just didn't like this. Uh, it looked too bulky. It just looked too yucky. So I got rid of that. I ended up going to this. But when I came out of it, and then what I did, now I'll close the cabinet, is, um, oh, there was one other modification I did. And it's up inside, it's hard to see without removing this piece right here. Uh, I added some LEDs in these here, okay? And they're just running, LEDs. But as you see, the pods, there's two there, and there's two there. Now, what I'm gonna do here in a second, I'm gonna light this up. So, bear with me for a minute here, and I'll be right back. Okay, now Mike, these things are running. Okay, yeah, see if I can kill the lights here. Sorry about the cameras moving around a lot. Uh, as you see, I see I got LEDs here. These are just running. And there's my, there's my brake lights. Those are brake lights, Mike. And I'm telling you, when you're staring at them, they're pretty damn bright. Not a lot you can do about missing those damn things. I mean, their, their web page that uh, hyperlights.com has doesn't do them things justice. They are freaking stupid bright. 
you cannot stare at them and for very long I'll tell you that much but that's how it looks you know you apply the brake and then they're off okay there's no lights okay now I don't have running uh, I've got my normal lights on my bike but when I hit the brakes that's what shows up all the four of these and then these two but again that's how I did it it's um, you know a little bit of a pain in the butt yes it is to put them together um, again I made a template to to make sure that the holes were square and I'm you know kind of just kind of measure you can't can't miss I mean it's really not that big a deal yet you, you have to do a little work with the Dremel you pull this screw off here and then there's a screw in here and a screw over here and you pull these screws here and then this this lens comes off these these this comes all off and there's a metal reflector behind that you also have to cut that too I use that to my advantage also for a reflection so you know that's what I did this is this is how I did it um, um, you know I'm glad I did it it wasn't that big a deal you know again I routed the wires down below here um, you know not a big deal so they come into here and then they finally end up out here you know they do end up out here but that's how I did it it was really nothing to it you know um, you can still use the um, you know the document holder you can still use that if you wanted uh, but um, you know I just thinking here yeah see it just shows at the bottom there they give you that little spot there uh, you just drill a hole through it and then you bring it out but that's how I did it bud as you can see they're pretty deep it's pretty deep I mean you got a top section there and then you know pretty deep you can hold one helmet in there I had no problem with my helmet putting it putting my helmet in there I'm gonna tell you that right now it's it's a good size case the 47 I like 46 I like so but anyways that's that in a nutshell that was my um, uh, for crying out loud the hyper lights install uh, that I did um, uh, that's how I did it you know that's the wiring etc etc and what I used to connect them so if you want to really go through that um, go for it bud I think you could do it you're just gonna take some time just remember when you cut these holes when you cut these holes in this plastic right here make sure you're damn spot on so what I would do is make a template tape the template right to this spot that's going to four drill four holes and then start cutting your hole but use a Dremel okay you know again make a template that's what I did I don't know if I have that template but that's how I did it everybody else in that you know somebody else may have another way of doing it uh, you know I don't know um, eh, yeah it's hard to tell what I did with that stuff um, no, that's maps. Sorry, guys. I'm just kind of looking, perusing through my junk here real quick. No, that's not it. All right, but anyways, I don't know what I did with it. So, but that's how I put the my uh, uh, hyper lights inside my case, inside the uh, Jivy uh, 46 case. So, that's all I can tell you. Um, see the V46 mono key. It's called the mono key system and I'm telling you Mike in fact a side view tells you how deep this thing is it's ridiculous how big this thing is and it works fine for me but that's me so anyways I hope that helped you a little bit bud talk to you this is Darth Vader Lord Darth Vader 1701 and I'm out